Will another chapter be added in the legacy of Artur Alexanian? You're running out of pages in his book. He's had that much success throughout the years. Three-time Olympian, gold medal winner in Rio in 2016, a bronze in London, silver in Tokyo for the great Artur Alexanian, who comes out in the red. His opponent from Cuba, Gabriel Rocio Kindelan, Tokyo Olympic qualifier, three-time Pan American medalist. Uh, imagine Alexanian being able to win all the three medals at the Olympic Games. Just an incredible legacy. And as we talked about, the most decorated Olympian athlete from Armenia. Started wrestling, started Greco-Roman wrestling 23 years ago, 2000, under the guidance of his father, Javorg, of course, the honored coach of Armenia. Son has made father very proud the past decade. That's for sure. We talked about um, earlier today how Casio uh, Rosio he would uh, he could win this fight, and we uh, got to that conclusion he has to uh, defend against uh, against uh, Alexander Scotland in the Pacea position. But that is easier said than done. And it's actually Alexanian who will start underneath on parterre. So, Rocio Kindle on. If he's going to pull this upset, he needs to get turns when he has the opportunity. Exactly. Exactly. So, these are situations where you just can't take your one passivity point and get back up. And he is active. He's been active all week into a lift, stand up position. Couldn't quite straddle the legs and, and get them clear. So, he'll try a second time near the edge. Again, stumbling a little bit. As soon as he wants to go on one of the sides, Alexander, he just collects his legs. So he will always be inside of uh, Rosillo's uh, legs. And that a very, that's a very good defense. Just bro blocking the flow, the rhythm of where Kindelon wanted to step to get that plant foot and then each time he's uh, collecting his legs together, he will just jump a little bit forward to, key, to get uh, Rosillo out of balance. But good attempts. Forty-five seconds remaining, opening period, gold medal match, or final gold medal bout of the night. What's Rocio Kindelan done well to make his first world final? Um, he's very, he's a very dynamic wrestler, um, and uh, he's uh, good on top in Pater. In this situation, Alexander Stephens is just different than other people's. And, what, and it was a very big uh, chance for uh, Rosiru right now because uh, Alexander, he's just so strong in standing position, not getting anything close to him. He's hard to take any points on. In Denmark, we call him the Fritz because he's tall, he's wide, and he's just so strong. One period in the books. The passivity point is it. You can bet Alexanian eyeing his opportunity to go parterre in this second period. All these wrestlers have such unique approaches on how they handle the walk up, the introduction. One thing I've always appreciated with Alexanian, if you notice, he doesn't stop at the corner. He comes up the stairs and he goes right to the center ring and stands in that ring until his opponent is called out, comes from his corner. He is so locked in and dialed in every time he takes the mat. Exactly, like always so calm and collected. So Rocio Kindelon knows what's coming at him once this whistle starts. And that will be some intense pressure from Alexander. Exactly. To get the opportunity on top. So can the Cuban match it? If I was Rocio, I would do anything right now in my power not to get down in the Pater position because Alexander has a mean gut wrench. Even take maybe 
more chances from the feet. Yeah. I would, yeah, that's what I would think on that. You see the referee, a quick warning. It's just lights out if you go underneath this guy. So you have to be over aggressive, even on the feet, even leading by one. And even if that leads to a mistake, at least you went with your strength. Exactly. And let's say, and it's possible that he will defend him, but he will still have the criteria against him right now. And Alexander, he's not a guy who just pulls backwards. Well, it did not work for him. He is underneath. Criteria, as Frederick mentioned, back with Artur Alexanian. But this guy doesn't settle for a passivity point. The master goes to work. Let's break down what he actually does good. He takes a very close grip. And it's just, his underarms is just so tight and strong that the grip doesn't move a centimeter. And then he pushes uh, his shoulder down on your back and it just, yeah, God wrenches it over. But that was a very good defensive receiver second time, actually. He got his hip out a little bit and then just shaked it so he couldn't uh, catch the hip. Very good. But now we are back to what we uh, talked about before. Alex Yannan, he's not a guy who is stepping backwards. He's just so strong. Great attempt from Brazil. Off the drag, trying to get to the corner. See if he can pull off a couple of more of those attempts here in the final minute plus. And now we see the referee pointing out I'm trying to have to be more active. Maybe we'll get his, his chance again in the Patel position. And the referee is uh, Lutfi Arte from uh, Danish national team. Risk control, Rocio Kindelon. Trying to show the referee enough and get a parterre opportunity one more time before the end of this match, but time preciously draining off the clock. Alexanian holding the center, leading by two. Now look at this, a takedown late to tie it. And the Cuban, Rocio Kindelon, has criteria with 15 seconds to go. Wow. We have seen this so many times at this World Championship. The last 15 seconds, people are taking people down. Rocio Kindelon stunned this arena. Tied at three, Alexanian slow to get back into the center. Five seconds, four seconds for the first time, a senior world champion in the name of Gabriel Rocio Kindelon snatches victory in the last possible seconds. A takedown on the wrestler who doesn't get taken down. The great Artur Alexanian. What a surprise, what a match from Rocio. He was in this match from the beginning. It was a high pace at the end, and he got the arm drag and a takedown. We talked about it early in that second period. He had the drag, and he kind of got around to the side, didn't quite get there, and we said he'll go back to that, and he dialed it up at the right time. Yeah, exactly. The arm drag was so powerful that Alexander almost stumbled and fell down on his knee and he just followed up and got the 